so with that what we will do now is we will also look at uh, you know a very nice concept that sort of combines both the comparator and the adder that we studied just now okay so this is known as binary coded decimal right so naturally you know the binary coded decimal uh, uh, the the binary numbers right that we use go from uh, you know 0 to f right in uh, the uh, hexadecimal system that is 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 1 right four of them but obviously you know you cannot be going and displaying a number called f to the general public because uh, the general public know only the decimal system so therefore when you have a binary representation and you need to convert it to a decimal right we basically call this a binary coded decimal number okay so what is this you basically have a binary number b3 b2 b1 and b0 okay and i have no choice but to actually represent this as uh, you know as a decimal number so before we discuss about you know how many outputs we need right to this to, from this system we look at an example suppose i have a binary input 0001 right i can simply write the decimal number as 1 right there is no no complication in this similarly 0000, 0, 0, 0 this is just 0 okay so what you notice is as as 1001 up to 9 you will have no problem because the hexadecimal representation and the binary uh, and the decimal representation coincide they are exactly the same however when you go to the number a b c d and up to f that whole thing breaks down and you need to somehow represent that number differently right so therefore you will basically have to ha do 1010 this has to become 10 okay now 1011 this has to become 11 1100 12 1101 13 1110 14 1111 which is 15 okay so essentially this is the mapping that you need now obviously to represent the you know again we have to deal with binary outputs you know we have no choice there okay so for the first digit we need four bits right because we are going 0 to 9 we are not going 0 to 7 right therefore we need four bits here which are um, let me call this um, so this is going to be i will call this digit d and this as um uh, maybe uh the the higher order bit let me just call it h okay i'll call it h and l higher order higher digit and the lower digit okay so l l i obviously need four bits l1 l2 l3 and h0 h1 h2 h3 okay so i'm going to now go through my 16 combinations 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 sorry 0 1 0 1 sorry 0 1 1 0 1 and then I can, as usual, make a copy of this. Right.
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट या राइट सो नाउ इट्स वेरी सिंपल अप टू नाइन ऑल आई नीड टू डू इज डू द फॉलोइंग जीरो 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 इज एग्जैक्टली द सेम एस बी थ्री बी टू बी वन बी नॉट जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो वन 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 जीरो जीरो वन वन सॉरी जीरो वन जीरो वन 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 जीरो वन एट इज ऑल्सो द सेम नाइन इज ऑल्सो द सेम नाउ वेन आई कम टू द नंबर टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन आई नीड टू नाउ साइकिल बैक टू जीरो इन डेसिमल सो देर फोर दिस विल बी जीरो 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 बट माई हायर बिट्स विल बिकम लाइक दिस सो फॉर ऑल द लोअर फॉर ऑल द बिट्स आफ्टर दैट द डिजिट्स आफ्टर दैट दिस विल बी द हायर बिट्स right and uh, so technically you actually don't need all these higher you know the h uh, 3 h2 and h1 right i just need one extra bit to tell me if i have crossed 9 or not literally right so therefore this will then go cycle back to 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 Zero, ah, uh, one zero one. Okay, so if you look at this, so this is all going to be zero. So essentially, this one is going to be this highest bit, the most significant uh, digit, and this one here, these four bits will represent the lower bits that we want. okay now how do we do this so uh, you know very simply put the hexadecimal actually circles back after 15 for four bit you come back after 15 right but the uh, decimal circles back after 9 right so therefore you just take 15 minus 6 and every any time the number input number crosses 9 you have to add this difference Of nine minus, um, uh, sorry, fifteen minus nine, right? And add that to the number, right? So just let's look at it. So if the incoming number, what is that? B three to B zero. If B three, B two, B one, B not happens to be greater than the number 9 okay this is why we needed the comparator if it is greater than 9 then i will simply add 6 plus 6 okay in if you want write it in decimal it will be like this i mean in binary it will be like this plus Zero one one zero, right? And I am going to take the sum bits, right? S three, S two, S one, S not, and give it to my lower bits. L three, L two, L one, L not. Okay, and if the uh, number is not greater than nine, then it is very simple. else i will add b1 b0 plus 0 and simply assign my sum bits s0 to my l3 l2 l1 l0 right and what happens what is the bit that i actually need to give to my h bit okay so let us see that so what i need first of all 
okay what i need first of all is a 4 bit comparator okay so i have bits b3 these are 4 bits bits b incoming bits right i am going to compare this against 9 okay which is in binary 1001 0, 0, 1. okay so this will tell me which one i am going to now compare so this is my input a this is my b this is a greater than b okay so if this a greater than b happens to be true then what do i need to do then i need to add 6 to my you know bits b3 to b0 right if not then i need to do something else so let's look at that so suppose okay i'm going to use this guy to select something from my thing okay so what am i going to do if a greater than b so this is these are four multiplexers actually if you look at this i have four multiplexers i am going to give my input b here b3 to b uh, b0 and the other input will be 6 uh, am i am i doing that no i cannot do that so what i have to do is i have to choose between these two either adding 0 or adding 6 so if a is not greater than if the input b is not greater than 9 okay then i need to do nothing with it i just need to add 0 only when the input b crosses 9 i need to add 6 to it so i can get the outputs here right as and give this to an adder 4 bit okay so here i will give my input b okay which is 4 bits this is again you know either 0 or 6 will come out and my sum bits will come out here s okay 4 bits now and all i have to do is assign this as my lower bits l3 l2 l1 and l0 okay now when you add 6 to the number right what did we do here right when we added 6 right so you start from 9 1 0 0 1 and i am adding 6 to it 0 1 1 0 right so you get 1 um, you get uh -huh. no no when it is greater than 9 so 1010 0, 0, okay so i add uh, i get 0 here then i get 0 here i'll get a carry of 1 0 1 0 and the 1 so all i have to do is take the carry out of the full adder okay this is the c out of the full adder this is sum this is the input a this is b okay this is what i am going to give to h0 the higher bit 0 right so this is a sort of a very nice implementation and by the way this multiplexer means into 4 okay so this one here means you have 4 2 is to 1 multiplexers okay i have two sets of numbers 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 right so i am going to give input 0 here this is the msb then i have another multiplexer which basically does the second bit okay which is the 0 and 1 here okay then i have the so this is 0 uh, multiplexer 1 0 1 
this is 0 0 ok. So, what we effectively see is you know with just some multiplexer, comparator and adder we have been able to simplify this design quite significantly right. We have been able to get a by uh, uh, a decimal representation of a binary coded number right. So, that is effectively what we had. So, therefore, what I can now do is you look at this implementation here right. I mean the inputs to this multiplexer do not depend on either B or anything no external input these are all fixed numbers then why should I do something so complex as this right. I could simplify this to a large extent by doing the following right 4 bit comparator right. So, I give my b here 4 bits then I give 9 here another 4 bits right and I just take this y a greater than b ok this is a and this is b by the way a greater than b ok and just watch what I can do now. This is my adder, right? This is my adder, uh, 4 bit adder. I will take my 4 bit B input here, okay? And the other A input, which is A0, A1. A2, A3, I am going to split this, ok, or maybe in this case I will write this explicitly. B0, B1, B2, B3, and externally also it is the same B3, B2, B1, <coughs> B0. What I will do is I will take this Y A greater than B and connect it like this. This I will ground, A3 also I will ground, right. And then I get 4 outputs, ok, S0, S1, S2, S3 and this is what I am going to call as L0, L1, L2 and L3. The carry out is what I am going to call out as H0, ok, H0. So, what you see is if the incoming bit is greater than 9, then this Y A greater than B will be 0, that means A1 and A2 will get set to 1, right. And what is that number? If you read this number A3, A2, A1, A0, I am basically saying replace this by 0, Y A greater than y b greater than 9, y b greater than 9 and this. So, this line here is what I am calling y b greater than 9 because I have set the input there, ok. If b greater than 9, then this number reduces to 0 1 1 0. If b less than 9, it is 0 0 0 0. Right. So, what I am doing is effectively I am adding 6 only when the number is 10 or above or I am not adding anything to it. Right. And of course, only when I add the 6 will the carry out be 1 and the higher uh, digit H0 will or bit will also get set to 1. Right. So, with that we conclude our discussion on this uh, you know adders and comparators and hierarchical designs. Right. And uh, from the next week onwards, we will move into sequential circuit analysis. Thank you.